Hi, I'm Mark Hummel. I hope you're enjoying the harmonica party and the other content that we post on our channel. Check out our Patreon page and join us for exclusive content, early releases of episodes and some rewards specifically for our Patreon friends. Thanks for helping us keep the blues alive. <laughs> Hi, this is Mark Hummel, and this is Mark Hummel's Harmonica Party, and I'm sitting in Florida at my hotel room, and I have a, a special guest, John Primer from Chicago, that I've had on some of my blowouts, and uh, he is really riding high these days. Oh, yeah. I want to congratulate hey, you on all your success, man. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, And uh, John's somebody that's been around Chicago a long, long time. I yes. remember him when he, when he first started... Uh, Making records with yep. you know people like Cotton and, and Magic Slim yep. and, and all the different folks that you oh, work God. with. Yeah, I work with. Yeah. Definitely paid your dues and Muddy, Pine yep. Top, Muddy, right, Willisville, right. Oh man, everybody. You know. I think the first time I saw you play was with Muddy in about 1980. 19, yes, when I started. 1980. Yep. yep. 1980. And it was you and Lovey Lee. Ray Allison. Ray Allison on drums, on drums and Mojo on harp. Yep, Mojo beautiful on harp. Right, I don't remember who the bass Look, player was. Ernest right? Johnson. At the Ernest Johnson, right, the player with Otis Rush. He played play with Otis Rush. Right. Magic Sam, yeah. Right, okay. I think he played on that CD. Oh, you love. I think he played that Oh, did he really? Bass on wow. That. I think he told me he was playing that bass. Too on much, that. man. Yeah. So uh, you you were born in in uh, you said Camden Camden Mississippi Camden Mississippi, mm -hmm. and you were saying that's near Canton Mississippi. Yeah, just before you get to Canton, twenty five miles from Canton Mississippi. Right. Yeah. And so you moved from there when you were eighteen. Eighteen years old. Right. Now, did you go by yourself or was your family? No, your family um, moved. When I when I uh, I grew up down in Mississippi, you know, um, I um, I lost my my dad. I you know. My mom and my dad, my mom and my dad had met each other. My mom and my, my mom was 13 years old. My dad was 15. Wow. And when they got married. Yeah. And then, so when my mom got 15 years old, I was born. Wow. And so, That's young parents. Yeah, so when I got about three going on four, was so like December the 18th, somewhere like that. My my dad was trying to go out and make some money, I guess, with these other guys, old two old little guys they knew. Mm -hmm. And uh, they went to, down to Canton, Mississippi there. Right. And they had a place that they had all, most all of the people would hang out. Majority of the people that would hang out in this place called Up in the Hollow. Mm -hmm. And most of uh, the black people would hang out up in there. Right. You know, but, uh, you know, all the white uh, people, they own the, the clubs and things. Right. A lot of clubs and movies and things. Hmm. But that's where all the black people would go and hang out up in there. Right. Up in the Hollow there. So... They we went down there that day, took a load of logs down to the sawmill, and they decided to hang out up there. So, so the, the, my dad, he was 19 years old, almost 18, going to 19, and he, he, I don't think he was drinking because he told told the dad and the son, say, hey, Mr. Jackson, y'all been drinking, y'all drunk, so you should let me drive home. Mm -hmm. And the dad said, oh, boy, uh, my mama talking about it. Oh, boy, get, get out of here, we ain't drunk. Right. And they went about six or seven miles down the highway going back to Camden. And their dad was driving. They pulled out on a truck. A stop sign. The truck hit them and just hit that log truck and turned them over. And, wow. And threw one of them out. And, and, but those two guys, they didn't get hurt at all. Yeah. There's one guy on the back, I think, was on but the But your track. dad got killed? My dad got turned over. He was trapped up under that truck. Yeah. yeah. And because he was all right, because they said they kept acting, was he okay? They said, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm okay, and all of a sudden he just starts uh, coughing and, and strangling his death. And wow. they said it, it said a gas tank leaked in his gas leaked in his face, strangling his death. And what happened? Gas. Yeah. Uh, he was trapped under. He couldn't move, so gas leaked in his face and, and it killed him, strangling because he started. Oh my kicking. God! Yeah. How so, horrible. So when I was young, I remember his funeral and everything. I was 18. Well, I was, I was three going on four. Yeah. So he had to be 18 or 19 years old. Yeah. He lost wow. his life, man. I think it was 1948, I believe. It was. Yeah. So Boy, that's tragic. So I grew man. up without a dad. I was raised by yeah. my grandmother and all my yeah. aunties. And right. So at that time, after he got passed, I got a sister. She's still living. And so we were getting it uh, with that, you know, like when you get draw a check from your from your dad or something when he passed. Right, right. So we was getting that check. Inheritance. Every month. Yeah. yeah, every month. 
Right. My sister and I, mm -hmm. what about seventy nine dollars a month? Right. So what happened? My mom, she going out. You know, she'd be in town all the time, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she, her cousin came to Chicago, and so she left and came to Chicago. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember when she left because I was crying. I was like, I don't know what, man. Yeah. And she said, Don't worry, don't cry. You got to stay here. You know, go to school and uh. But when you get 18 years old, I'll come back and get you. So that that's happened, man. She came yeah. back and got us. Yeah. Wow. Me and my sister, she wasn't, I was 18, but she was she's two years younger than me. Your sister? Yeah, but she came yeah. too. But Wow. And so I didn't know why, man. I was just, I was sad all my life, man, yeah. because I missed my mom and dad. I knew, right. I knew my dad at that age. Right. Yeah. Right. I at three. Yeah. 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 So, but I was kind of sad because every time my mom would come home, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But when she leave and come back to Chicago, I'd be crying, crying, yeah. crying, 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 crying. And my grandmother would always say, "Well, come on, stop crying, cause they, well, they down, we down the house, we down, they bottling the champagne or no?" She would always say that. Hmm. And when she said that, I stopped crying. Right. Yeah. Right. So when I got grown, you know, I asked her why. Why? But she came back and got us, mm -hmm. like I said. But but when when I got grown and everything, I, I asked her why she leave us. She said told me the reason why she left us there. My my, my grandmother had about eight, eleven kids, ten, what were ten at home, nine or ten of them at home. So the reason why I left you there because that check you and your sister getting seven nine dollars a month back then, that would help to feed the family. Right. Feed my grandmother, and that's why. Right. You know. So that's why she left you there. Yeah, that's why we yeah. left her there. She said, wow. she, Yeah, but you know. So you had all, now you said the 11 other kids were. My grandmother, your yeah. Your grandmother's kids. She had 11 okay. kids and all. Right. Wow. But, but my, uh, my mom had left. I think my dad was still, my aunt was still there, but my other auntie, she had got married. Uh -huh. So all the rest of them was in the house, man. Yeah. And I was raised in that one, two, two rooms in the kitchen. Wow, that is a one small bedroom, house. a living room, and a kitchen. Yeah. So everybody slept in all the two floor, rooms. Yeah, it, 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 five door room basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wow. cool. yeah. yeah. So, so that, that was the reason why you know I um, got to Chicago. Yeah, because you can make more money. I ain't never going back, to Mississippi. State. Right, <laughs> what right. I said, never going back. Yeah, you go back occasionally. Go, right? I, I, when I got 12 years old, I uh, tried to go to cotton field, pick cotton. I couldn't do it. It wasn't, it wasn't for me. Yeah. But. Really hard work. But I. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I loved it. I, I was, my thing was picking the cotton and pulling that corn by hand. I had to do a little bit of that because my uncle, other uncle, my mother brother, he was the next oldest brother. Right. But my older brother, my uncle had moved with his wife and everything. Mm -hmm. But me and him had to go to the field to do that his job. Wow. So we had to do that. And I was young, 14, 13, 14 right. years old. Yeah. So I, I I didn't like doing the, the cotton and stuff, but I loved to ply the music. Did you? It was fun. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was fun. I, mean, I lived with it there. I always did that. I was glad. Right, there. right. Yeah. But when she came and got me, man, I was so happy. You were ready to go. Yeah. Man, I was happy. What did you think of Chicago when you first? When I got here, man, got holy there, big yeah. tall building. Yeah, that must have been a shock. Yeah, because yeah. close I was to Jackson, you know, I never been, have never been to Jackson. Never been there, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, I can't miss it with Jackson. They got, right. Can't miss it, we got them in the town, how right. cowboy houses. Right. And so, but right. Jackson had kind of tall buildings. Yeah. But I didn't know when I got to Chicago, what the? Yeah. Oh, skyscrapers, yeah, skyscraper and, yeah. and and yeah. and you know, and and I'm I'm wondering now all these blues guys I heard down in Mississippi when I was a kid growing up. My grandmother had playing blues, Muddy Water, Lightning mm -hmm. Hawk, and Big Boy Cooler. I mean, you know, back in the so 40s. she'd be playing that. Yeah, on the on yeah. on, on, the, on, the, on, seven, on the record eight records, yeah, record player. I yeah. started out with seven eight, right, mm -hmm. right, and she was playing there, all this stuff. And to me, I thought all these guys in the past away, right. What you I didn't got, know they were there. Yeah. When I got Chicago, that's yeah. what it was, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, man. That's what it was at, man. Yeah. So, so do you remember what year was it you first saw Muddy play? Um, 
No, I, I didn't see Muddy play until I got his band. Until you got his band. I just wow. see him on Chicago Blues Fest. Right. But he, I didn't see him, but I'll be somewhere and he come through there with Willis Smith and them. I don't know what he'd be right. with him. Right. But I never had met him. Huh. No, what a trip. Never had met Muddy. Yeah. But I dreamed that I played in his band. Well, yeah. In Mississippi. Hell yeah. 14 years ago, I dreamed I played in Muddy's band. Yeah. It came true. Now, were you were you playing guitar when you're in Mississippi? Yeah, that's what I learned, man. And and were it, were, you, were you the one that was saying you learned on a, a, a diddly boat? Diddly boat, right? right, right upside, right. my my grand, my right. uncle them had built one upside the house, right? right. And they we playing, and after they go to the cotton field or something, and I'm little, I be playing that thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, did that have a slide on it? No, nope. or was it just it's just one piece of wire with one two piece bricks of wire on, and then you, and then you each hold other it make down, it, yeah. yeah, make it tight, right? And it get right. that sound. Yeah, you, know, you just hit it with your finger, and get a yeah. flavor ball or something. Do, 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 it's amazing do, how do, many do. how many guys started like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was singing. When they were kids. Yeah. Did you sing right away? All the way. All, yeah. All, yeah. Ever since I was old enough to sing, I've been singing. You sound all like, night. yeah, you sound like it. And my mom said, when the mid, I was born by a midwife. And my mm -hmm. mom said, you know, like all the babies, they always, when when the midwife slapped them on the, on the, on the behind, so they cried, but say you was humming like you was singing. <laughs> wow. That's what she said. I was humming like I was singing. Wow. I didn't just cry. Ah, wow. <laughs> Since I was humming. That's yeah. something, man. Yeah, man. Wow. So So did you ever play in any bands in Mississippi or not in no, Chicago? No, no. Okay. Not tell Chicago. Yeah. And uh my foot my um first band I played in was um a band called the Maintainers. Hmm. Yeah, we created that band, and that was in Chicago. In Chicago, okay. The maintainers. Now, did you? What kind of? What was your first guitar? Do you remember? It was a uh, Silvertone. And was that in Mississippi or in Chicago? Yeah, uh, in Chicago. Okay. See, I didn't have a guitar, but I had a cousin. Right. Live about three or four miles down the road, mm -hmm. and they dad he played all a lot of my departments played guitar back then. Oh, okay. So he had one every time he go to town or something because he 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 didn't. I didn't. I don't remember him working in the car. But he was driving out the truck to bring mm -hmm. ice around the people. Right. And I would go down and play with my two cousins. Mm -hmm. And one of them, the oldest one, could play a little guitar. And so we. Uh, so he'd let you play his guitar. Let, yeah, we sneak yeah. and play it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we sneak and play it. So I started. I learned how to on that guitar. Right. And then I just kept playing it, you know. And um, so by the time I came to Chicago, I didn't have none, but I had to learn how to play. I knew how to play. Yeah. I could play. I played a little bit, you know, the guitar in the church with my cousin. Okay. So I had to play yeah. There. And so when I got to Chicago, I got a little job, and I, I was working. I went up on Seeley and Madison, which used to be a club called the Seeley Club on Madison, but it was a pawn shop there. Mm -hmm. But... I, I saw a guitar and it's only seven bucks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, wow, that guitar there looks like the guitars I'd be looking at in the magazine. Right. Seals, 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 yeah. yeah right. Seals and, um, and Alden. Oh. The magazine okay. would come down there and they had guitars right. in it. Because that's what I, when I was a little bitty kid, I always just stare at the guitars all the time. Right. Just get the book and just look, watch. Just look. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you really had a thing for it. So I ordered. Yeah. I had my cousin. Order one from the book. Yeah. And it, it was seven bucks and it came to the post office. And so my mom, she was she went in Chicago then. She had left and went to town so uh -huh. Canton. She didn't come back for a while. Right. And they sent it back. I didn't get it. Oh man. That was a heartbreaking yeah, story. That is heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. Now was it you and your sister living together? With my mom, my With grandma. Your mom? Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Okay. We all most of the time my my uh my dad got killed uh you said you were three when you got Yeah, there. so my mom was, you know, always there. A lot right. of times she'd be there. A lot of times she would be down to my auntie and them house down in Canada or somewhere. Right, right. She wasn't the, wasn't the cotton picker. Right. She, in Canada, she was the one that cooked all the hamburgers and the, and the little groceries. And those oh, things. really? Okay. And yes, she always. Yeah. Well, I remember that. And I'd be going to school, and every day she'd send her cousin out with me a hamburger. Lunch. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and my other two helped me eat it up. <laughs> that, come, that comes in handy, man. So she's the hamburger lady now. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves my mom. Yeah.
That's awesome. And how long, when did, when did she pass? 2010. Okay, so she lived a long life. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she was 80, 80, 80 years old. 80 years old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is your sister still alive? Yeah. She's okay. west side of Chicago. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just saw her a couple of yeah. days. Now, when you first moved there, were you living on the, on the south side? West side. West side, yeah. okay. I lived on the west right. side all the time. Yeah. And later, later on, well, I had a little, and then I moved to Southside. So, who were the first musicians you met when you moved to Chicago? We surprised, man, and it was Sunday morning. Yeah, I was on Levin and Jackson, about right by Crane High School. Then that's where I came, three twelve South Levin, and, and uh, that's where my mom was living at. My stepfather, that, that's who came down. So, I, uh, I, um. What I was saying. Uh, wait, what was the question? Oh, wait, who are the first musicians? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, I got you. Uh, yeah. So like every Sunday morning, I would hear this music playing down the street in the backyard every Sunday morning. So I would go down there, and guess who? Would? Who? Luther Allison. Really? And he was playing blues on a in Sunday. In the backyard. Really? Every Sunday he would come there to cook. What a trip, man. Yeah. Wow. Him and Little Al, Little Al, I think Al Thompson. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Man, he, and that, that's he the first band I see. Wow. Luke Allison. Yeah. yeah. Man. Did you get to know him? Yeah. He seemed like a nice cat. He was a nice cat. He man. was a really nice really cat. Nice. I met him in in Paris one day. Yeah. 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 He was the first band I saw playing live. Uh, I wow. did one time as the band came down to Mississippi, Cam, Canton, but not in Canton, but down almost in Canton. Mm -hmm. And there was a club called the Ebony Club. And the band came in and played, and they were playing Walking the Dog. Okay. <laughs> you know we, who it was? I don't know who it was. You don't know who it was? It sounded yeah. like we were talking about it could have been somebody else. Hmm. But uh, I saw that, but I didn't really just see I couldn't get in to go in there. You know? Right, right. Probably could have, but we just peeped yeah. and left. But Luke Allen was the first band I seen in Chicago play. Yeah, man. Yeah. But my stepfather told me all of Muddy Waters, of course, he playing, talking about Muddy Waters and all them. They all playing, they're alive. Yeah. And he had all so of So you them. had no idea. No idea. You thought man. they were dead. Yeah. Yeah, because it was old music. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. I was surprised, man. So who, besides Luther, who did you see early on? Do you remember? In Chicago. Did you ever see Freddie King back then? Or? Um, I saw Freddie King one time. Uh -huh. um, playing at the Tom Musician Club in Washington, Roosevelt. Okay. I saw him there one time. I think that was Freddie King. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was him. Yeah. I really didn't know I was reading one. Yeah. It was up to a sneak, you know. Uh -huh. But I saw him play. And then uh, from then on, I just saw most everybody, you know. Yeah. You uh, see show, Otis early on. And... Old, Otis Rush, yeah. all of them, yeah. Magic Sam. Magic Sam, all of them, man. That man, to me, Magic Sam was the best of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I've singing Sam. Yeah, yeah, I've Fresh heard that from a lot of people. Yeah, man, he, man, he great awesome. singer. And yeah. played the guitar and played the hell out of the guitar. Yeah, he was awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, they all was good, but they were better than me. But I'm lucky. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. right, right. <laughs> I love it. Now, how did you meet Magic Slim? Okay, that that that's another story. I um, I met Magic Slim down. Yeah. Uh, I didn't meet Magic Slim, I didn't know him, but there was a drummer that played with him called Nate Applewhite. Right, right, drummer. right. And he also played with Buddy and Junior, I think. Didn't he? Uh, Nate Applewhite, I thought. His Harmon and Applewhite played, mm. they were his brother. You're right, I'm thinking yeah. of his brother. But Nate Applewhite, yeah. he was uh, he was playing at Teresa's too house, drummer at Teresa's a lot okay. when he was yeah. with Slim. Yeah. So so when I got the job down there in nineteen seventy four, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the house drummer and Honest Johnson, the bass player. Right. He used to play with those. They were all that. Sammy Longhorn. Right. Muddy Water Junior. All them guys. Right. Like Fogey Superstar, Lewis Miles, Dave Miles, right. Mike the Smith. Right. And they all hung out down there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when Jimmy Dawkins came, come down here. Right. Uh, uh, I didn't, Hound Dog Taylor came one time. I saw yeah. him come down there. Yeah. All them other Johnny guys, Little John. Johnny Little John, they all right. came down to Reason. Right. Hung out there. Yeah. 
even Muddy Water came down there one time, but I wasn't there. That's you went there right. after he had that wreck. Oh, know? right, right, right. So that was came, like '69 yeah. or something. Yeah. So he came down to Reason. Right. So and he heard he heard Buddy Guy was house band there too, but but we right. and he saw Buddy playing. He said, "Did you see Earl Hooker?" Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So so BB King asked uh, Teresa was the only the lounge and said, "Who's that young man playing that guitar like that?" He said, oh, this pretty guy. She said, wow, he, she, he said, he can say he can play. That guy can play, but he sound like me. But you tell him, don't try to sound like me. And that was Earl he was talking about? He was talking about buddy guy. Oh, he's talking about buddy, okay. Tell yeah. him, you know, he, he don't, don't try to be me, you know. Right. Play, learn what I play. Right, right. But he can't be me. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. buddy, you know, buddy, back well, then. Buddy, buddy was... Something else. Yeah. They can play pretty much anything. So, man, I hung out with the best down there. They all come down. Johnny, Johnny Winter, all of them come down there. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Winter lived in Chicago for a while. For a while. I might, yeah. Uh, uh, one of, which one of them got died? Mid-60s. One of the Broomfield boys came down there. Oh, right. Mike Bloomfield. Yeah. 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 One of them was alive, yeah. Yeah, I'll come down to these. Elvin, probably. Yeah. I know Elvin Bishop was uh, one of oh, Sammy. Oh, yeah, yeah, He yeah. was one of Sammy's students as well. I know. Yeah. yeah. He yeah, was one of Sammy's students. He student. came down there. I met him right. all, man. They got all come right. down there. Yeah. I think that's when he moved, is the same year you did. Probably did. I see. think he moved there in 63. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. all come down there, man. Yeah. Oh, man, man them guys, they come down there and be jamming and talking jive and drinking right. and drunk and and when they come through the door, they they, they all come down there to get salmon. Right, right, right. When they come through the door, they go. When they do this, they can. They right. may come to cut your head. Right, right, <laughs> Philip right. Brewer. Was there a lot of that? I yeah. mean, you know, like head cutting. Salmon, yeah, yeah, Philip Brewer. All of them, especially Philip Brewer come down right, there. He come right. down there to get salmon, man. <laughs> Would he? Yeah. yeah. Sammy was a bad man. Yes, man. He, he was a he had really his own style. great guitar player. Man. And he once told me, he said, hey, I want you to learn what I play, but you can't be me now. Right. You can't be me, learn what I play. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be mine forever to play this. Yeah. So, so Is it true he got thrown out a window? Or, yeah. Yeah. or he jumped out a window, I think? He got jumped out the window. He jumped, he out, jumped the window. out of the window because they were talking about killing him. Yeah, well, see what happened. I heard he got broken into or something. No, see what happened. No. See, Sammy, Sammy was, he was a woman chaser. He, man, he chased women's man. Oh, okay. And he was um, in up on the second floor over with Pee Wee Madison. With Pee Wee Madison there, he right. was on, on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Some women, a woman lived on the second floor, but she was, had a husband. Right. And Sammy at the food and went up there and there. And so the guy came and caught Sammy up there with his wife. Oh man! And so when he came in there, he told Sammy he got a choice: either come through the door and get shot, or either jump out the window. And that's what he did. He jumped out the window. And I heard he broke both his legs. Both his legs. He had a cast on all the way yeah. up here. Yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he had a choice. <laughs> Man, Come this what way a choice. Go. I guess <laughs> that's a choice most of us would make, huh? Yeah, yeah man. That's how he jumped out the window. Boom. <laughs> now, did he have to take time off with Muddy at that point? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he yeah. Was, yeah, he was, he was off for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So is he the one that got you the gig with Muddy? Sammy? No, no. no. Nate so, Applewhite. Nate Applewhite. No, 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 no. Uh, when I I played with Willie Dixon in 1979. Oh, okay. All right. And Willie Dixon used to come down to me and right. watch me play. I'm singing all these Howl and Wolf and Muddy Wood and stuff. Right. But right. I didn't know that he. You didn't I, know he was the writer. He used to write all the wow. songs. Wow. So yeah. when I asked Sammy who he was, and Sammy told me who he was. And yeah. Willie Dixon, he was one of them songs. And I be seeing me rocking and I'm singing and. Howl and Wolf and all that stuff. He, right. So, 1979, when when Mighty Joe Young, I believe, used to play with him, with Dixon. Right. When he he quit or something, mm -hmm. and so Willie needed a guitar player. So he, now, who was blowing harp with him then? Was that Billy Branch or was it? When Snoop I got King? in the band, was, 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 was could have been um, Snooky or somebody. Like Snooky Pryor? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, when I, you know, so uh, he came down there, man, and uh, how I got with, with uh, Magic Slim, you say? Right. Yeah, Magic Slim wouldn't make that white, and then um, 
he came, uh, Matt Slim brother got me with him. Right. Joe Buford got me when Willie The gig with Muddy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But to sit him down and he get me. Oh, okay. So that's how I got the gig. Willie Smith? No. Or, or Willie Dixon? No. Uh, Mojo Buford sent me down there. Right, right. Came down there to get me. To get you to play with Muddy. Muddy sent right. Mojo down there. To get okay, me in. I see. Brother, I need a guitar player. Right. You want to be interested in playing? He liked the way you play. So did you get Rich Kirsch in there? Huh? Was that Rick you? Rick Crayer? I mean, Rick Crayer, I mean? Yeah, well, Rick Crayer in, uh, was playing like with Studebaker John. Oh, okay. And Mojo, sometimes Mojo too, they were good friends. Too, they were good friends, so, okay. So when we started out, uh, that's how we got, Rick got in the band. Right. Uh, we started out playing with, with Muddy. So Jim, uh, Muddy needed get another guitar player with me. Right. So Jimmy Rogers played with us until. That's what someone told me, is that Jimmy almost played in that band at that point. He played, yeah. He, we went all to Texas, Anton. Yeah. And, was, and then all of a sudden one day he didn't show up or something? No. Or what we, happened? That night. Cause we we look at me and Rick Rick drive the front truck and Mojo in the back right in the back truck and so we could see Jimmy Jimmy Rogers just nah, 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 talking he looked right. a big talking he had an old yeah. fifth or uh, some kind of whiskey right and he drank the whole fifth all the way there and so that night we played it and told him we playing him and he almost fell off, fell off the stage almost yikes and Muddy looked around at him and laughed. And at that point, Muddy was just but done. He was done with yeah, him. So, yeah. so Rick, he told, Mojo told Muddy that he got a guitar playing. Well, it was Rick, Rick Craig. Wow. And Rick was the driver. So, so how how did Jimmy sound on some of that stuff? Did he sound good on some? Oh of yeah, that? he played. He was playing. He was playing the lead. I was yeah. playing the rhythm. Yeah, <laughs> he, was he was great with Muddy. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing the rhythm when he got drunk. Yeah, wow. And the little stage yeah. wasn't, it wasn't. I remember hearing that. Yeah, that he had almost rejoined him and then yeah. lost the game. He lost the game. Yeah, he got drunk. So, how long were you with Muddy? Was it two years? Two and a half years. years. Okay, yeah. two and a half years. Yeah. And then he got sick. He got sick. Man. Right. He went out of right. town and yeah. come back during, during, during the Christmas time, I think. And Scott Cameron called me and said, hey, Muddy won't be going back out of because he had a. Heart attacks. Oh, is that what happened? He had a yeah. heart attack? And then he had cancer too, right? Uh, I, I'm i not sure. I thought he had cancer. He probably did, yeah. you know, but I know he, he had a heart attack. He had a pace. They gave him a pace. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he died in his sleep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. so those must have been some fun gigs, man. Man, I had a lot of fun. We yeah. traveled. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, I mean, all, I mean, we went everywhere, muddy. Man. Yeah, all yeah. seas, all up in Canada, all yeah. up in the East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. Right. Yeah, he was right. a busy man, man. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I saw you guys in 1980. I remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. That band. Yeah, yeah, I got a, I got some photos of you guys. Yeah. Our first, now, when we first got with muddy, he was, we had another drummer called Willie, uh, um, uh, uh, Clay, Clay, Jesse Clay. Okay. He was the first drummer. Right. But uh, I think he might have played with Otis Rush too. Yes, that's a clear. Yeah. So when so when we got ready to go to uh I think it was Texas, who was that same show. Mm -hmm. And he um he didn't want to go leave his wife. Mm -hmm. And he you know, so so I went and got Ray Ray Allison. Right. And got him I said, I know. How that. did Ray sound on the game? Oh, he was good. Yeah. He come down. He ended up playing guitar later on. Yeah, huh? yeah. he come down. You know, he was kind of wide. Look, yeah, he was kind of wide. He always was telling. No, it was right. Take so did he get him more? Oh yeah, he, under he control. Oh, down that's cool. And, yeah. And when he every now and then you see Muddy go look back at him. Right, because Muddy was real particular about yeah who the how the drummer played. Yeah, and, he started and volume. Yeah, he started. Yeah, he very very much about down, volume. Yeah. And Muddy was so crazy about it, killing by everything. He was the best one in the, I mean, one in the band. Yeah. The mother always clowned around and talked to him. It was him. Right. Still, yeah. Right, right. Try to steal his mother. If you try to take his, it's not going to steal it. Look at us. We're not going to sock a killer kept his money in his sock. <laughs> mother would go eat. He's done. He'd go, oh, man, what are you doing, man? And when mother passed, mother, he got all of my head, gave, uh, Got all the mother's clothes. For wow. Him fit them, yeah. What a trip, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He ended up with Cotton later on. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Cotton, yeah, Cotton. Yeah. And you played an album, you're on an album I was talking to you earlier. Take you're Me on, Back. 
Yeah, and it was, I think it was originally called My Foundation, and then they changed it to Take Me Take Back. Take Me Back, yeah. Same album, yeah. Counted, I believe. Right, yeah. right. And it came out on Blind Pig later on as Take Me Back. Yeah, yeah. Take Me Back. Yeah, and you back. guys did, uh, I already you did, uh, uh, well, Take Me Back is the Walter tune. Take and, Me Back, me Yeah, back. and then you guys did uh, uh, Honest I Do oh, on there. Yeah, and do. I think you did like two or three of Walter God over and Lord and stuff. Yeah. That was, that was actually, that's the last. Cotton kind of last good CD he did. That was a great CD. Cause he he not he wasn't supposed to sing for a while. Right. Cause he had some. Right. And but he, he went on and did it anyway. I know, man. And cause and doctor, he wasn't supposed to smoke. He was either. okay, yeah. Yeah. Cause he had got it, you know, whatever it was. Right. They, and, they caught it. Yeah. yeah. And so they told him, wait, and don't sing no more. Wow. And he went ahead He's and hard it. and went on singing and lost his voice. Yeah, and was smoking, too. Yes, yeah, and yeah. smoking and drinking yeah. at night. Crazy. We was in the studio for, yeah. uh, from 6 to 6. Wow. Doing that CD, me, Sammy Lohan. Right. Uh, Pine Top. Right. Sam Lee on drums. Oh, was it Sam on drums? And Bob yeah. Anderson on bass. Wow. That's a great record. And me, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah it's a great yeah. record. Uh-huh. I used to listen to that all the time. <laughs> that's yeah. a good one, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did Cotton ever come sit in with Muddy? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. He, when he was around, he would come. Yeah. yeah. We did uh, Navy Pier, and he, all of them came up there, Cotton and uh, Buddy, Buddy Miles and Mighty Joe Young. Wow. Coco, they all came out on the stage and sang. Did you Wonder. play much with uh, uh, Mighty Joe Young? No, no, not no, really. Never this okay, band, no. Yeah, no, 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 never played much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, How about Dawkins? Did you play with Dawkins? Yeah, I, I did a few. Yeah, things with Dawkins overseas, but yeah, it, went to we went to London and stuff. We toured around London with right. Michael Frank and Wiggs. And, yeah, but he he was a, weird, a strange, strange yeah, he guy was on an stage. Odd, oddball, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. see, I mean, I, he told me to tune his guitar. Tune his guitar. He get up there playing. He start yelling at me. I know. I told you to tune my guitar. Right, right. So one night he said, "Holler at me!" But I said, "Man, look, I did. I tune your guitar, but hey, don't be hollering at me, man. Right. So tune your own damn guitar. <laughs> exactly. Next time. I'm not tuning yeah. anymore. And yeah. you know, every time he would give me um, like we playing, he give me a solo, but he always standing a step in front of me. Wow. And he had Angela Brown was singing. Right, right. Yeah. She was singing with us, but he always stepped in the front of me. Wouldn't let the people see me play. That's terrible. And so they wrote it up all of in the mic in the magazine about how he disrespected me. Wow. And they'll never have him back there. Yeah. So he wow. never went back there, yeah. We had Ray Scott and, and uh, on 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 drum. Ray Scott was on drum. And the mu, whatever you call it, on the bass. So that's the voice on bass. Oh yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, and all that's with the other man. He's all right. With it. So you're with <laughs> I like the way he played. Right, you're with Magic Slim for quite a while. What oh, was that, ten uh, years or something. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yeah, yeah, with Magic. Yeah, thirteen years. And you guys played all over the world. Right? All yeah. over the world, man, everywhere. Yeah. So, and Nick Holt was in there. His brother was in there. Brother, yeah, right? Nate Alberwhite. Right. With right. the drummer. Yeah. And we went to a few drummers after Nate. Come. I wish I could have seen you guys, man. No, man. I missed. I missed seeing. I didn't see. I didn't meet Slim until way later. Yeah, we uh, yeah. after Bud and Junior, they kind of split it up a little bit. Right. So Mad Slim was the top blues band then. Yeah, right. I remember. <laughs> no, I mean in the Midwest, he was he was a big deal in the Midwest. Red I remember Slim. you guys could come to the Zoo Bar. Yeah. In oh, Lincoln, yeah. and you could you guys could do two three weeks there by yourself. By ourselves, man. Yeah. And all we be all we open up. You guys we, were we, yeah. You guys were really <laughs> the the blues band at that <laughs> that neck of the woods, the whole Midwest. Yeah. Scene, right? Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, we was top. And, and I imagine you went overseas a lot. Too. Oh man, every every All other the time. month for three to four weeks with black and blue and beating right. them, yeah. Right. And we toured all over Europe everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I right now I do most all the same places I went with Magic Slim. Do you like, really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. In France and in Germany, whatever. I just come back from Germany. Good. I, I just did uh, me, two of me in my band. That's great. A little guy over there named Fred. And, uh, Fred Clee, is that yeah, the Fred guy? Yeah, yeah, I've talked to Fred. That's yeah. second, last year and yeah. this year we went. Yeah. Put in a word for me. Don't like how to hire me. <laughs> All right, yeah. I will, man.
Yeah. Quickly. Yeah, he 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 does a lot of band. And it seems like he does good for you. And he's a good guy, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Guy. He do all the driving and right. But see, when I go over there with him, it'd be me and my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife Lisa. Lisa, yeah. She she goes with us. She didn't go with the last time because right. so much shit went down on the on the first two we went, you know. Yeah. But Fred he didn't quite get along with with, with, with my drummer and uh, and my bass player, huh. because they so quiet, and he thought they didn't like it, but <laughs> my drummer worried me today. Yeah. He's a little quiet, he, but he's a good little guy. Man. You talk about uh, Melvin? Not Melvin, oh, Melvin. Oh, the drummer. My drummer, yeah. Drummer, yeah. What's his name? Lenny. 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 Okay. And he's a good guy, and he do, he don't let me do nothing. He take all my stuff and load it up and oh, load that's the nice. fan up, and yeah. he do all this stuff for me. Him and Steve, I'm out of it. Yeah. They won't let me do nothing. Hey man, Steve, Steve's <laughs> really good. I was really impressed yeah, with Steve. Yeah. I was really but if you ask if you ask him who who taught him how to who taught him how to play, you know what he goes there. What? Really? Did yeah. you teach him how to blow hard? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. Wow. What to do with it? If the hard time CD I got out of new. Okay. I don't want him. I was telling him what what to play. He really sounds like his dad. Yeah. yeah. He sounds big time like yeah. Kerry. Yeah. But he can play all type of type of music. Yeah. Nice no, sounds good. Man. Blues, he can play soul music, yeah. whatever. Yeah, he can play it. That's awesome. John is really riding high these days with uh, uh, his band. He got nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. And now you've been nominated before, right? Uh, three, this will this be my third time. Right, because weren't yeah. you on the Living Chicago Blues? Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. And then yeah. was there, what was the other nomination? Um, the same, I mean, uh, my, my CD, uh, uh, All Original. Okay, you're saying that was before this new one? Yeah, the okay. All Original, yeah, and then we live in blues, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And this one now to be the third one. Yeah, now have you won a blues award before? Yeah. That's what I thought. I yeah. won three. The BMA Tradition. Awards? Yeah, BMAs. Yeah, and then uh, five, uh, about four or five of Blues Blast magazine. I oh, won two, two of them this year. Cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, what is what is your mission as far as like, you know, music? I mean, would you say you're you're out to promote Chicago blues or 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 the old cats? Or I mean, how would well, you um, how I, would you say I it? try to promote all the old cats that go on? I try to the traditional blues. Uh -huh. I try to promote uh, rhythm and blues. I try to read uh, uh, soul. Yeah. I, I promote all the rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, I don't do too much jazz, but I can. Yeah. When I think about it. Right. But I, to me, I'm, I just I support all music, rock and roll. I don't care what it is. Yeah. That's me. I'm, I'm trying to keep it. Right. Try to keep it close to the original that I can. Right. See? Because with the young generation. And you never, write quite a bit. Right? Oh, yeah. All, yeah you all write stuff. a lot of songs. Yeah. 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 I, I just look, I got a hard time I wrote all the songs in there. Except mm -hmm. one, my daughter wrote one. Okay. Aaliyah, she, she now, did does your daughter sing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is she on some of your records? She on the, uh, on the Hard Time CD. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, right. The women sing the blues on the Bob Cruz tour. That new one, he got out. He got out of one called the, the women, latest. He won now, who is this? Bob Cruz tour. Oh, Cruz tour. Okay. With all, right. all the women singing on that. Right, That's right. Is she on that? On that. So okay. 17 and out of new. Yeah. On that one. Oh, okay, cool. And, Hard you're, time. you're on. You've done a lot with Bob as far as yeah, recordings, yeah. right? How many recordings you done? At like least five. Five. Or at least yeah. Five. Yeah. 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 I know Wes really. Wes Star, the drummer. <laughs> you know, but he yeah, really man. enjoyed working with you. I and think man. the Gypsy Woman told me he won an award or two. Up. I think he did. did? One award, okay. Yeah. yeah. And he, he's really having fun playing with Bob. Yeah. You know, oh, Bob man, Stroger, man. man. Yeah. yeah. Bob, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he told Bob. me he's. Wes said him and Bob just. Really, hit it, they yeah, hit they it do. off immediately. They it just does, locked. Man. Yeah. And uh, yeah. what's his name? The keyboard, uh, the roast. What's his name? Anthony. Oh, Anthony Jirasi. Jirasi, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. We all Anthony's great. Man, he's great. He he's really best, good. Yeah. Man, he's really good. He's really good. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah. Play what he played. Yeah, I went to Europe with him back in, God, 97 or something. Yeah. 96, I think. Man, he's yeah. great. He's from the old, he know the old He really does. He knows, knows all the old stuff. Yeah, sure does. Know it. Sure does. I love working with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I work with you too now. Well, I like working with you, man. I, I've, I've <laughs> had a lot of respect for you. You played that hard, man. I well, like I've, I've, I've had a lot of respect for you for years. You, you answer. You, you answer. You, 
I call it a BB King guitar behind BB King with somebody sing something you like them. Right, right. I, well, at you today, you know, I love backing people. I listen to you today. I do. I love backing people. And that band, man, Jim Cole and uh, Steve yeah, Foon and Tom Holland and Cross, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Great band. That's a great band. Yeah. 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 Steve Foon told me how to hold the slide. Right, 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 right. Troy told, told me. Troy told, told me you guys you slide. guys go way back. Yeah. He told me how to hold it. Hold this glass, Steve. Uh, right. Said, no, no, because I'm just hope, trying to play. I'm the, does Steve even play slide? Yeah. Does he really? Yeah, he I've slide. never heard Steve play That's slide. That's why I was playing. I was calling what him. A trip. Him I had no idea. He can play slide, too. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. he can, man. He's yeah. good. He was a music teacher. Yeah. 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 Steve's been around, man. Yeah, yeah he's been there. Yeah. He's been there, yeah. Yeah. Now, how about Otis? Did, did you get to know Otis Rush at all? No, I didn't get to know him. I met him, but I didn't. Yeah, he's kind of he keeps to himself. I went on tour with him. Did you really? With Black and Blue with DDA. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. with DDA. Yeah. So he, um, so we do too. We kept going with tour and stuff. And all of a sudden, something wrong with him. Right. And so, well, that's what I've always heard. So DDA, before I was still drinking, you know, he's diabetic. Right. So DDA never took him to the doctor. And the doctor checked him out and said, there ain't nothing wrong with him. I said, you kidding me? He said, no, ain't nothing wrong with him. Something wrong with his head. Oh, so it's <laughs> like head. mentally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what that's what I always heard. But he, he was yeah. going until he tried to drink because he didn't Yeah, that's what I've heard. Now. I've heard he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't drink at all. No. Well, that's yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to think of some other cats, man. So you work with, did you work with Sam Light for a while? Yeah, we did some stuff, you know, because he planned on to take me back that CD. That's stuff. right. Yeah. But I did some stuff at Teresa. Sometimes he, right. we need a drummer. He come down there and play drums. Right. Yeah. Right. I worked yeah. with him. Yeah. He was a trip. Good ass drummer, man. He's a really good drummer. Man. Man. Mink Kudo. Yeah, yeah. He's a character, though, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he, all these guys are characters. He kept their gun, too. Man. I know he, he did. Yeah, yeah. shot him in his bum. He, he did. Yeah, with cotton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard a story about that. The, yeah. When, when, when uh, he was playing with Cotton, there was a guy that had shot Cotton. Yeah. Did you I, ever hear that story? I heard about that. Yeah. Right. He got shot. He, he, Cotton got shot by this guy that was jealous of Muddy. Yeah. And the band. Oh. And he just came in and shot Cotton. I did so. Yeah. Cotton wow. barely lived. I mean, he got shot like five times. Whoa. And so I heard the story was that Sam Lay was playing in the band with Cotton. Yeah. And they thought the guy had come in the club. Right. And shot him. Yeah. And that's when Sam went, boom. Yeah. He shot his thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bad way to learn. I know. <laughs> bad way. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, anyway, man, I, I want to say, man, it's it's great talking to you, and <laughs> you do, and, and I love uh, love what you do, man. Oh, man, and you, you were, same, man. we keep yeah, it going, man. No, I I'd love I'd love to do something else soon. Maybe we can do something next year. I'm gonna hook me up. I am. I'm like I'm, 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 hook me up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work <laughs> on something for for next. Uh, yeah, October. Yeah, do that, man. Talk to yeah, me. because I would yeah. I would love to do something with you and. Uh, there was somebody else I had in mind. I can't think of who it was, but yeah. Okay. You, you ever heard of little Jimmy Reed? Yeah. He He's called pretty me cool, man. Man. He lives in uh, Alabama. Yeah, he lives in Alabama. Well, I was thinking about bringing him I think out, I got too. his number. I'm going to have to call him because he always called me. He's a great time. guy, man. Yeah, little Jimmy Reed. Jimmy. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a cool performer. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be fun, man. Uh, let's, let's try to do something. All man. right, man. Yeah. Who's this up? All right, man. Well, thank you so much, John. Oh, I man. appreciate you making time for me to do this. Yeah, man. And no problem. Yeah. It was a pleasure, yeah. man, talking to you. And I was good to see you, man. I was always good to see you.